and welcome back to my channel so today I'm sharing with y'all my fall charcuterie board y'all know I love these so I'm super excited about it but I was scrolling through Pinterest and I was kind of seeing a trend all of the boards were gorgeous but a lot of the foods on the boards were not something that I would eat it just didn't look very realistic to me so today I'm gonna try and create a really beautiful board but something also very realistic something that I would eat my family would eat or something that I would serve at a party or an event so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around show you all what I'm talking about and we are gonna get started So to get started for our board, one of the first things that I like to do is pick what kind of cheese I'm going to use. This is my favorite. It is a soft cheese. It's very creamy, full of great flavor. So I made sure to include a picture of it in case you guys want to screenshot that and then you can use that as well for your board. And then I added two cuties here. I thought that they were super pretty with that bright orange color and then I also thought they kind of look like mini pumpkins so I thought that they were super cute to leave them whole just like that and then I also had a little decorative pumpkin lying around my house and I thought it was really pretty on this board so I added it just to kind of tie in with the fall theme and then for my cheese I like to kind of group things together that you would typically eat together so your cheese your meat your crackers and for my meat I am just using regular turkey lunch meat you can use a fancier meat if you like salami prosciutto whatever you want to use you use that but again I was making this board realistic something that I knew my family would eat so we just used our favorite turkey lunch meat and it was really good and then I also did some mini pickles we always love those on any charcuterie board so you will probably always see those on my boards and then I also used some apricots again I love that pretty orange color I was really trying to tie in those fall colors I love the traditional colors so I also did some red apples and then I peeled a cutie just to have some quick grab and go mainly for Noah and then I also did some cinnamon sugar graham crackers again for Noah just keeping things realistic but I try to place it in kind of a prettier way <laughs> instead of just throwing it on the board um, and then for my filler I like to use pecans and raisins and a really good recipe for these pecans that I wish I would have had time to do was to put them in an egg wash and then coat them with cinnamon and sugar and you can bake them in the oven or you can put them in your air fryer. I actually have a video on that so I will leave it li linked down below. But that is my favorite way to eat pecans but and I just threw them on the board as is and they were still really good. I did some pretzel rods just to add some dimension and then for my grapes I forgot to mention those early on but I did a big bunch of those red grapes right in the middle again I wanted some dimension and it really helped break up that orange color I had a lot of that going on and so I love that dark red color and then one of my biggest tips when making a charcuterie board is to make sure that every square inch of your board is covered. So just take your filler, the pecans, the raisins, you could do dried cranberries, whatever you want to do, fill in every crack and cranny because it makes a huge difference and it will make your board look really full. And then I also added in some grape tomatoes. And if you noticed, I have some cheese. I just took regular old sliced cheese and I had a mini leaf cookie cutter and so I just cut out little leaves again that just made it look a little bit more fallish but this board is really realistic something that my family loves but I also think that it is really pretty Thank you guys for watching.
watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you got some inspiration maybe to make your own fall charcuterie board. I would love to see your pictures so be sure to tag me over on Instagram. As always if y'all are new around here I would love for you to stick around so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye!